Welcome! This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher, and today's lesson or tangle step outs come to us from Lily Moon and it's Karako, and it's a fun, fun tangle to do. I love the variations that you can do. Um, it's I just had lots of fun because you can put tangles within tangles and I did it on black with white and you can see here that the darker white I used my jelly roll and the lighter I just used a um, Prisma white pencil just to see what the difference would be and um, I like both they they both are great and then on this one I started coloring in and then I decided I would do a little bit like um, Lily Moon did. Her tangles are always fabulous. Um, and I did some patterns behind. And so I am going to take a, a cream colored um, tile and I'm going to use the uh, blue Micron PN pen and the denim blue Prisma pencil. And we're going to start it's a very easy tangle to do. Start with a circle in the center. And I did that one a little big. But that's okay. I'm going to just come in a little closer so you can see. Then we just start with a small little V. Or I mean a little triangle shape. And then the next one is going to come underneath. And I try to have them kind of meet down at approximately the same place and then I because it's a circle and then I'm going to work my way around the circle and you'll get the the feel of it as you do it and you notice that my little pointy things get a little larger as I go around and then I'm just going to build out and come down just keep going around You see I get a little Holiba effect here. And I just go until there is really no more room. Or I could just really keep going. Until I've filled up my complete tile and then Lily came back and she echoed each one of these or aura each one of these spaces and I love how this looks when you start to aura A tangle and Maria says when in doubt aura if you can't think of what to do to your tangle aura and I truly believe that that is a good philosophy to do so we're just going to go all the way around Oring each one of those little pointy triangular shapes. And you see, I keep my pin flat and I rotate my tile. I find that a little easier for me to get a nice, even little aura. And if it's not even, I'm I really don't worry too much about it. I 
and I'm just working my way all the way around. I'm almost to the end. And I see a few mistakes I made, but I, I, try, I honestly don't think that it's going to show up. Now, I'm going to take my blue terracotta, <laughs> terracotta, denim blue, and I'm going to do a little um, shading. I'm going to put just a little bit of um, blue, just right in the, the bottom of this because it's going to spread very easily. So I'm just doing just a line. So I'm just outlining whatever I've got here and working my way around. Again, you see I am turning my tile as I go. It makes it so much easier to tangle if you turn your tile and not um, try to turn your hand. We'll see if I have enough blue down to get the effect I want. So I have all that. Now I'm going to take my, and I just loaded my little um, paint thinner pot with more um, paint, uh, odorless paint thinner. So you can really see that it's wet. But I let it sit so that it doesn't really, it doesn't spill that easy. So now I'm going to put my um, shading stump in here, get it wet. And now I'm going to work. I'm going to start in the center and I'm going to blend my blue color out and the fun thing about doing this on a cream color is I'm going to get a little bit of a green cast to that it's just going to pick up a little so it'll be darker down in where I originally put it and then fade out it's doing exactly what I hoped it would do. I didn't put any color here. I didn't start. Put a little bit right down here. You'll probably say, maybe you forgot a spot. Now I'm just blending it out leaving that place that I or it where I did my aura will stay clear cream color or white or whatever and give it that nice contrast and you notice I haven't re-dipped my um, blending stump I've just kept it we'll see how far I can go before I have to re moisten that blending step. It's getting close. I'm going to give it a little bit more moisture so I can, because I don't want that to have a line. I want it to blend out. But it doesn't take a lot. So if it stops blending out, just give it a little another dip into that um, odorless paint thinner. And blend out. The bigger those little points are, the more odorless paint thinner it's going to take to pull that out. I like to blend it so I don't really see a line. It kind of just blends into it. 
And you can do this with watercolor pencils or um, any kind of color pencil. The pigment will be different. I, I like um, a pencil that has a little bit more pigment in the pencil and less wax but the wax melts with the odorless paint thinner and helps you spread the pigment that's how that works but you can also do this with watercolor pencils where you would think that you needed watercolor water but I don't like I can't I don't have as much control with water so I always use odorless paint thinner no matter what type of pencil I'm using I use the odorless paint thinner and there we have it blended all the way out and I'm gonna put my lid on my odorless paint thinner and you can get these on at my store at very reasonable price and you can just keep that it's you can see I kind of overloaded it a little bit now I'm gonna come back in and I'm just going to add some embellishment and you, I'm going to just show you a couple of the embellishments. Here you can see that I, I did different tangles in. I like how that kind of looks. This one colored and then I just little did little dots. That That's one of my favorite embellishments is just to take your pen and do a little row of dots around the outside. Now I don't like to do this with um, one of the pens that have the felt tip. I like the PN pen with that plastic nib because then I'm not worried about um, damaging the nib on my pen. So you can do that. You can also come in and do just some little specks in here that kind of give it some dimension so I can put just a few little just dots in here and I'm gonna go ahead and work my way out I'll probably do the um, dots and the outside border with the little dots both doing both of those so I just kind of like how that looks and I love working with the blue pen. I think that's just another option for our Zentangles. Just try a different color pen and do that with um, the burgundy pen and a terracotta color pencil. Works really well and you can get that as a set on at my store where you can buy the pencil and pen and you get a reduction in price when you buy both together. But you can see how much fun that is. I'm just gonna, it's just gonna go around. Watch for this on my blog. The finished one will be on my blog so that you can see how it turns out. And again, I use the Micron PN pen in blue and a blue um, denim blue color uh, Prisma color pencil and a shading stump and odorless paint thinner, and it turned out, it turns out gorgeous. And again, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.